here i want to tell you a small story it's a story from a leader indian great indian leader in his uh, student life he was a very good student and he was uh, travel he even went to um, europe to complete london to complete his uh, law studies and he came back as a barrister as he was from a very lower caste one day with along with his friends they were all students they were coming back to uh, his place and uh, for any reason the train was on time but his father was late even the servant both of them they were late to come and these boys well dressed they were just waiting in the station platform and uh, um, it it was a time for dusk it is almost uh, dark and they till uh, still they are waiting at the time the station master came to them and then asked them that how he can help them he never knew that what was their caste before that his behavior was completely different it was polite it was gentle and he offered uh, his help to them and he said that as uh, their father is not yet there how can he help them to arrange a cart or to send them home these boys were they had money with them so they requested that if uh, the station master can arrange a bullock cart for them that they can travel and they can go back to the uh, place where they supposed to go and if they can get a place at least where they can sit comfortably and they can wait for their father to come to pick them up everything was all right till here all of a sudden as it was the time before independence of india caste system was very much prominent in the society this whole the station master asked them what is their caste the answer was mahar mahar is a caste those who are doing all these menial jobs what i told you and they are not allowed even settle in the village premises they are not allowed to enter in the village temple they are not allowed even sharing the same wealth from where the other higher caste they are get taking their water the moment the station master heard that name the caste name that is mahar he just walked off from the place and he said that he is he just not response them anymore these poor boys the students they are in their student life like you all they are sitting quietly they are waiting for their father to come some problem he never turned up then uh, they tried themselves to get a bullock cart and by the grace of the station master uh, within this time period this word spread nicely that these boys are the mahar boys and none of the bullock cart owners the bullock cart those who are transporting them they were not ready to allow them to sit in their bullock cart because they felt that if these boys are sitting in the bullock cart their cart even will get dirty they are well dressed they are clean enough neat and clean but just it is due to caste they were discriminated they offered even double money but even then that never works because caste system is that much strong it it was that much strong at that point of time in india they never got a transportation they were waiting and waiting this story it is a real story from life of dr b r ambedkar mahar is a dalit they said do you know what is the meaning of dalit dalit means someone that is easily breakable that is a local it is a local term the meaning is easily breakable so they the caste system they framed in a way that these people those without whose help the society cannot run we even need sweepers we need even need some people those who can wash our utensils we need people those who can clean our clothes or whatever the dust and dirt in the society but we considered them as lower caste as they are opting for this type of some occupation these mahars were like that and they were never allowed to enter they never had proper education also so these dalit dalit is a term that is breakable easily breakable people they can do anything the higher caste people they can do anything with this dalit caste of people the dalit caste people now these broken caste that is dalit they don't like to be termed like that think some of your um, some of your fault which is not actually your fault that being uh, taking birth in a caste and you are 
stereotyping them with a very obnoxious system that they don't like rather they like the term uh, untouchable because people never like to touch them mahatma gandhi has given a very good name for this caste he started calling them harijan do you know what is harijan harijan is nothing but the man of god yes they are man of god we all are created by him if we believe in that way and if it is true how can we ignore how can we discriminate a caste just for their job or for their birth that they born like that let me tell you some few words about dr bhim rao ambedkar or b r ambedkar he was the first person from this mahar caste the story i told you about him uh, he was the first person from this mahar caste who got this education and who was a barrister who went to london to achieve a degree he came back he was the leader the, who changed the thinking he always insisted his own caste people to send their st- children to the school for education now education is no, was not that easy for everyone mostly those who are in the lower caste people after independence though the scenario now has changed a lot but even now we are not beyond those culture where we were dr ambedkar fought for everything fought for the rights of the dalits fought for the right of his own lower caste people and the first thing he did as a father of our constitution he was the maker of our constitution he termed equality as the main major word in the constitution we all are equal and that is the word equality that can completely out throw discrimination from the present society but is it really true yes they fought a lot mahatma gandhi fought other leaders they never thought even about all those cast b r ambedkar who has given birth to the thought that everyone is equal in the world but do are we the same are we the one who think in the same way are we not discriminating every day for any major or minor reason think about your life think about your neighborhood see others and start thinking about the discrimination you face in your current society yes we strive for equality striving for equality was the main reason why indians started fighting against british i told you apartheid that is the fight between black and white the skin color discrimination a person who is asian naturally his skin color is black or brown but the people those who are those who are uh, residing nearby the mediterranean region their skin color is white europe denmark scotland you will find all uh, european countries or american countries will find some people those who are with white skin color so based on that many places we have seen mostly the british colonies they started discriminating people that was the first reason indian people they started fighting against the fighting against british they want equality they wanted equality they strive for equality no government jobs were available for indians which was one reason because the indians they wanted to take part in government jobs and in the administration to govern their own country they started fighting and striving for equality dalit women tribal and many other sectors in the uh, society many a times we find that they started fighting even the peasants now let us one after another example where these all people they started fighting dalits i told you their caste they never allowed to get even water from the same well rather they always were provided some dirty places to live in and to get water even their foods also the throw out from the higher caste they are forced to have all those type of foods so they started fighting for equality under some great leader like dr b r ambedkar next we are coming to a uh, women 
I, to, I gave you another example for a boy and a girl who are di the girl was discriminated to go to school because of the stereotype, the prejudice in our mind that girls are confined and at home just to help in household uh, chores, nothing else. They suppose not to go to school, what they will do going to school because anyway they need to marry and they need to stay at home. Women started fighting for their own right at the time of First World War when they actually came out from the domestic boundaries and they started working as men because their main part was the male of the most of the families they were busy fighting in some of the borders or the boundaries women came out and they started doing their own business and they proved themselves successful at the same time they started asking for their voting rights and it was not so easy to change a stereotyped idea of a society. So they also need to fight a lot. Even today, even today in India, so many brides, brides they are burning. Burning for getting more money, burning for getting wealth. And all these things happened only the stereotyped idea for the society, in the society women are still now fighting to get their equal right as men. Many of the places women are paid less. Not I'm not discussing about the rural, rural areas, but mostly in the urban areas and some of the rural places also. It is, uh, there is a very bad comparison of getting salary between men and women. If it is a man, he needs to earn more. And for men also, it is so bad that it is fixed idea for him that he only has to go for a work and has to earn money and the rest everyone can depend on them so this is also one place where we are seeing the inequality in our society the another thing is the tribal yes the tribes they never accepted we never accepted wholeheartedly the tribes in our society it was from the beginning when the tribes has their own uh, culture their look is different their way of living is different so they are not equal to us. That is the idea, that is a stereotype prejudice we have give, uh, we have in our mind and we started behaving in that way. Many, many revolts and revol revolution we have seen in past in the British uh, India uh, to get the tribes to get their rights. The coal rebellion, the Santahal rebellion, they actually, they wanted their right, their, their equal right from the British coming to the peasants, so the farmers, they started fighting even their fight for equality for against their money lenders or the landlords. Those who occupied a lot of land in their hand and started exploit them economically and socially too. They have a stereotype idea that these peasants, these farmers, they cannot get more than this and this much is enough for them and they need to live in this small economic background only and the peasants the farmers many a time they came out they started fighting against this unequal behavior of the society many leaders such as dr b r ambedkar they fought for the right of these people of like the dalit we said we better not utter this term as we know that this is the term actually it is hurting people when you are following a stereotype, you are following a prejudice, you are actually hurting people by using those terms. A person who cannot walk properly, we need to help them to walk. It is not that we will make fun of them that they cannot walk. Actually, we are doing the same thing here. Think about some students, some children in, the, in your school also. You will find some students, they cannot learn like you and me. They have some learning disabilities. They cannot learn. First, we cannot tell them, we cannot mark them that they cannot study, they cannot uh, be in the same school. But at the same time, uh, we need to help them. We need to help them the way they can learn. And we have a special name for them. They are special. So they are special children. They are not someone who is backward, but disqualified to learn, disqualified to get gather knowledge. And you need not to make, you cannot make fun of them because their way of learning is different. And the small story for you children. 
Thomas Alva Edison, one day when he was just six years old, he came back from his school and uh, with a letter in his hand. And he has given that letter to his mother. He was so small that he cannot even read what it is written there. He just hand over the letter to his mom uh, where it was written that, uh, I will tell you what it was written later. Rather what his mother read, how his mother read that letter. Let me tell that first. Dear Mrs. Edition, your boy is somehow different. He is the, our class cannot provide the type of knowledge, the extra knowledge that he always asks for. You better pay more attention on him. He is a genius. Help him to learn more. Help him to gather more knowledge and be a great man in the future. And the mother started working on his own boy. One day after his mother's death, Alva Edition, Thomas Alva Edition, he, you know that what is his contribution in the society. He has the light on us, it is given by him. He was the inventor of that electricity. So one day after his mother passed away, he was searching all his mother's belongings to gather them, arrange them properly. He found a let that letter where it is written that your boy is, Mrs. Edition, your boy is worthless. He cannot learn, he cannot do anything in his life. So just keep him at home, don't send him to school. What do you think? If this letter that day his mother is taking negatively, maybe even today we are in the dark, we cannot get the light also on our head. So Mrs. Edition, his mother has taken it positively. And this positive positivity impacted his life and our life too. So I request the thing what we learn from this chapter is we need to enforce positivity not prejudice. We need to remove negativity from the society. We need to remove discrimination from the society. The writers of our constitution said that the respect of diversity is a significant element in ensuring equality. If we cannot respect each other, we cannot treat each other equally. Inequality will be in our mind, which we cannot remove even. People struggle positive action of the government as well as positive action from, for all human beings can remove prejudice, stereotypes and discrimination from the society. We can be diversified, but we need to be united in the society. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.